So it turns out Toyota actually sells brand new 1Js uh, with zero miles on them, apparently. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, I got Top Gear playing in the background. The good Top Gear, Top Gear UK, the classics. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. We are here working again on, uh, I guess, well, a little bit of Jay-Z action. So if you guys missed the last video, we got these pretty much kind of stripped and cleaned and prepped, whatever you want to call it. And uh, now we're at a point where we're continuing the strip, the strip process. I'm going to basically kind of get this side where, uh, where it needs to be and, and maybe even take off some of the accessories just so I can get a nice clean paint job on, uh, on the block itself. But it cleaned up really nice and as you guys can see I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do with this valve cover up here and the, and the cam covers. And honestly, I mean I just cleaned this up really quickly. You guys can see how nice this center, sh this center plate is. I don't think I want to go ahead and paint this. I will just retouch up the paint, like the black paint here and the red paint here. And then um, maybe just clear coat it, or maybe we'll just leave it. We'll see. Uh, just because I think it looks kind of clean and factory-ish. I need to get some parts ordered for this thing, and uh, hopefully get this uh, get this engine bay painted pretty quick. Hopefully this week, that'd be ideal. So I'm gonna try and hunt some paint down. I think I am gonna go and stick with the black with the gold flake. I think it'll be pretty cool. So let's get to it. Now these VVTIs are super rad, uh, a lot of low end torque that comes out of these things as opposed to the non-VVTI, but the VVTI solenoids, which are actually located right here, um, I just took this, in, this one out because we gotta replace it, uh, they sometimes tend to break. As you guys can see the clip, the connector itself is broken. You, you will have to replace this and um, just grab a new one, you know. They're pretty cheap, just gonna let you guys know this is a super easy and replaceable thing, but the VVTIs, man, are awesome. All right, so it is a new day, Woody is Straight up chilling. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. How could you, how could you not give him a little belly rub after that? He's a, he's a good cat. Real good cat. Straight up chiller. But uh, I actually got a little ahead of myself. So I want to restore this, uh, the spark plug cover, I guess. But I want it to look like OEM. Like I said, I want this to be like an OEM plus version of the actual engine. So. I got ahead of myself and already went ahead and did some blue taping. I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, basically do the opposite. Cut off and mask off these two areas and redo the red, redo the black. And then we're gonna redo some silver because I, I tried but I can't really get this to look good again. I guess I could probably sand it forever and, and get it to look good but I, I might just paint it. Just hit them with some heat just to kind of dry them out as best as we can. I'm actually just using like a quick DIY thing guys. This is the, the, the goal with this build right now is just kind of quick but still looking really nice and kind of quality if that makes sense. So um, maybe down the line we'll go ahead and toss way more time and money into this build but for now we're just going simple easy. If you guys want to see very very in-depth go ahead and check out the build of the Z. I mean even that was kind of like a budget like that was on a tight budget build so um again except this time over i'm just switching up and going with like a rattle can paint job and i just want to show you guys that it can still look good so so i've got pretty much everything laid out here that i'm gonna go ahead and spray over here intake manifold same deal clean it all up try to take the fuel rail off last night i went ahead and we did the block you guys can see it's looking really really nice engine enameled up and then on this side you can see how bad it was I'm mean, sure not that bad it's just you know over time it just kind of oxidizes and starts to look a, bit, a little bit old but uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and start prepping sanding cleaning masking and we'll be we'll be on the way to getting these things looking like brand new again <laughs> Who decided to join us tonight? What are you doing? What, well, first off, what is this? Is this? The, he said he found this on Craigslist. I don't believe you. I found this on Craigslist. Yeah, okay, but... so it's like 
10 at, 10 at night and apparently he just got this off Craigslist. Just a bunch of different random, just a bunch of junk. Extra. So this is probably located about 20 feet in that container building over there. So I needed a cart. Brought her in. I needed a cart. Cleaned her up, looking brand new. Still kind of junky, but how does this, how does this work? Oh wait, no, is this one? Yeah, this one's kind of. Oh, oh, I mean it's. I got the wheel lock. I think it just might need a little bit of lube, dude. But what are you doing today, man? What's, what's, your, what's your objective? Take this off, take the head off, get everything else off. Why are on. you doing this, man? Why are we doing this? We're gonna send the head in to yep. get- send, And the block. And the block. Send get the everything- the block, get yep. everything looked at, decked. Yep. Just get everything checked out. Yeah, man. So, uh, you've never torn down a motor, right? Nope. First okay, time. first time. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of let you start and see kind of where you go and I'll stop you if we're making major, major yikes no. moves, but- I'm not gonna go ahead and prime these things just because this, these are all stock components, guys, and who knows how long I'm actually gonna be having these on the engine. I just want them to look good. Uh, they don't need to last forever, but we're gonna go ahead and put some metallic finish paint on them and then toss some engine enamel like clear coat on there just so it's easy to clean, it doesn't get dirty easily and uh, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and kind of jump right into it and uh, get these things looking like new again. I'm stoked. Right now I'm actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna prep this side of the block so you guys can see, I showed you guys yesterday, uh, how bad, well, just how gross and grimy the side is. And we're also gonna go ahead and clean up the, like, the front cover uh, the oil, just everything. Every bit should be looking nice and new when we're done. So I don't know why I go this like hardcore with this stuff. It's kind of unnecessary, but you know, it does look nice when it's, when it's all clean. So let's just get to it, man. So the Jay-Z is coming along really nicely. We'll get to that in just a minute. We're, get, we're over here right now. I uh, just actually came back from Walmart and picked up some, some premium, okay, detail brushes. So if you guys kind of are figuring out what I'm, what I'm doing here, I got some red paint and I got some black paint. So as you guys know, these VVTI valve covers have some lettering on there, on there uh, VTI and obviously, you know, 2,500 turbo. So uh, this is gonna be in black, this is gonna be in red. So basically the only, Honestly, the only way I'm able to do this like properly without and, and actually having like a good stencil is just doing it by hand So I'm hoping these brushes will be good, but I'm just gonna go ahead sit down and uh, See if my inner my inner Picasso comes out today So if we can get this done and I'm gonna wait till it dries and clear coat well, I got to peel off our emblem and then clear coat everything and uh, Yeah, man, we should be we should be looking pretty good. So I'm pretty happy to see how this turns out <laughs> Thank you. 
So it turns out Toyota actually sells brand new 1Js uh, with zero miles on them, apparently. Uh, no, but seriously, this thing turned out extremely clean. So this is exactly the look I'm going for, just basically it's a brand new refreshed look. Very, very happy with how everything turned out. It all looks great. Honestly, it took way more time, but you guys know me. I, I say I'm gonna kind of be quick and simple and, and not really go all out. I didn't really go all out, but I didn't really go as quickly as I planned to. Uh, this centerpiece right here probably took me about 75% of the day. So to, to get these stencils, like, you know, cut and, and made, it took me two attempts and they're still not 100% perfect. You guys can kind of see there's like a, a weird box around them. So I try, I, what I did is I like taped with some scotch tape, the clear stuff over the lettering and then cut the lettering out with a knife and then pulled the rest of the tape back and kind of used that as a, as a template. So it worked, it looks way better than how it did initially. The first time I did it, it looked pretty awful. And yeah, so like I said, this is just a very quick, easy spray paint job. I probably should have gone ahead and done it like legitimately, but hey, it is what it is. She's looking super, super fresh, man. I, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I mean, this motor in general came with like almost no miles for how, well actually it's not even that old. It's only a 20 year old motor considering how old import engines usually are. This one's from 2000, it's from a 2000 crown. So uh, it's pretty great. Got almost everything all routed up. I still have to figure out where this one goes. I kind of don't remember where this man goes, but uh, I went ahead and put the fuel damper back in. I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and run that, but it has its pros and cons. I guess for now, if I'm just stock fuel system, stock everything, I'll probably just run it. So you got all the fuel rails kind of, you know, all painted up as well, did that in black, cleaned up the head, block obviously, all the front uh, covers have all been cleaned up cleaned up the, you know, I actually kind of am happy that I stayed with this not being painted. I do like like the flat, you know, kind of textury look. It looks really nice. The masking job I did, just killer, man. You know, just super solid, really crisp lines. Uh, took a lot of stuff off and cleaned it all up, but you guys saw me, you guys saw me as I was in action, so. Turbo's looking pretty damn nice, man. All stock factory, it literally looks brand new. So I'm very, very happy with how it came out. Um, very, very stoked to get this in the car. Next step, I actually have to order some parts today. So tonight, after I get this, uh, after I finish with this video, time to order a bunch of swap parts and, and get this in this car as soon as possible. And I do have to go ahead, get myself a transmission. I'm, I'm leaning towards an AR5 or, what's the other one? A BMW ZF transmission. So we'll kind of see which route I go. It just depends on which is the most budget because an, an AR5 apparently is like the modern R154. Yeah, that's kind of going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I didn't get the video up yesterday. That was my plan, but this took way longer than I anticipated. And, uh, but I'm, I'm just, it just, it looks brand new. So you can't really complain, man. I took my time with it. So I'm sorry, but hopefully you guys can understand. Uh, we'll be jamming with a lot of more content. Probably see some stuff with the Z here coming up pretty soon. More stuff with the S14. Obviously the S13. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow. If not, just, just turn those notifications on. It really helps me out. And uh, if, you just, if you guys want to go ahead and watch the video, it actually just you know lets you know it, when a new video is up. So if you guys have the time, go ahead and hit that button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Toss a like, toss a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.